Hi, this is Rochelle with Squat Craftastic. Let's go ahead and get started with week 49. I'm doing another creative layout this week and I'm using my regular 32 pound paper that is printed double sided with a dot grid pattern. I'm also using this shipping tag to outline my boxes for the week. I'm using a six box layout so the weekend will be a split weekend. I'm not tracing these exactly straight on the page and I'm making sure to leave a little margin around them more so towards the inside of the page where the page will be punched so that my boxes won't have a punch in them. So this is my work mat that I use for inking and it's just a laminated piece of cardstock. I'm opening up some red Distress Oxide ink using a dry brush with the ink on the paper and I'm not liking the way that turns out. So I take a little spray bottle of water and spray and just barely touch the brush into the water and then into the ink that I have put on my little work mat and it seems to be working out great. So it's more of a watercolor process, but it is the Distress Oxide ink. And I'm just going in carefully around my tag and filling in the background with the red ink. And again, I will uh, list in the description box the inks that I use on this spread and the brush is just a random cheap little brush I think it came from the little eight dollar set that they sell at Michaels and here I'm just doing the second page filling in the background and um, I know at some point I'm going to have to, if I continue to do these mixed media creative layout style spreads, I'm going to need a better paper that will tolerate water and other media. So if anyone knows of a better quality paper or watercolor paper, mixed media paper that would work, please let me know down below in the comments. I know I have... Um, just regular mixed media and watercolor paper but it's really heavy and I'd really rather not use that for planning if I can find something that's a little more lightweight here I'm using the vintage photo distress oxide ink from Tim Holtz and just a little bit of water to go around and add some shading um, and depth behind the tags so that they will stand out on the page a little bit more, not just be one flat design. I'm also thinking about just doing base designs like this and putting and making them available. If you think you'd be interested in something like that, let me know in the comments because I could stop here, maybe just add the days of the week and this would be something that someone else could plan on so or it can be used in a journal or you know as a base for a junk journal page or anything so here i'm using some of my happy planner stickers i think this book is the planner basics with the the numbers i'm taking some washi tape also and measuring the width of the bottom of the tag and cutting pieces off because I want to add a little more of a Christmas feel to the spread. So this gold foil stripe washi I think works nicely to do that. And as I'm working on this spread I realize that I don't really have any Christmas stickers. I have tons of Christmas washi but actually as far as stickers and decor to add to a planner spread I don't have that so I'm trying to use every little way I can to make it more of a Christmas holiday spread so 
So here I'm using these stickers, even though I have the stamps for these numbers, I decided to try and, you know, use up some of my stickers, but I actually fought more with the stickers than I do with just using the stamps. It's kind of hard for me to get them off, of the, to peel them off of the backing and actually line them up straight. You'd think that stamping would be more difficult, but in this instance, the stickers gave me more trouble than the stamps. So I finally got them down. And here I'm just adding a little family time because we're having a little family dinner on the 9th. And I'm using some stamps for the days of the week that came from the Michaels dollar bin back when it was actually still a dollar. This set did not come with the stamps for Saturday and Sunday. So I will use a weekend stamp to note Saturday and Sunday. And the weekend stamp is from an Etsy shop. I'm not sure if it's still in business. If it is, I will link that shop in the description box below as well. And here my stamp doesn't come out right the first time. It may be the stamp, it may be me, I don't know. But I was able to successfully, partially successfully um, restamp it. And here I'm using these little hearts from the Happy Planner sticker book to, I'm using them as um, bullet list or checklist for tasks or items that I need to do throughout the week. And also you can color code your list. This is a book from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to use these gold foil appointment stickers out of it. So I'm using those. And I also want to use an arrow to kind of expand on that appointment later on. This is where I made my own Christmas sticker decor because I didn't have any. I used die cuts and just made them smaller and turned them into stickers. So you may remember seeing some of these stickers in the um, loaded page markers that I was making last year. I'll link to that video up top so you can check those out. But I'm going in now and adding the ballet stickers and just using the little Christmas ball and bow to denote that here and then on the other side I'm using a Christmas wreath to note those mainly I'm noting them uh, now because this is nutcracker season I know everyone's tired of me saying that but it's nutcracker season so I have to kind of remind myself everywhere and here I'm using the laundry and payday stickers, their word stickers, and the to-dos will go next to the little bullet list. And I will be making a video to show how to make word stickers similar to this. So be looking, be on the lookout for that. And also I'll be showing how to make that sticker book. So I'm just going to fill in my appointments. So this week is not too busy. I have a lot of transporting back and forth to do, so I kept everything as open as possible. Mm -hmm. 
Here I'm going in with a gold pen and just cleaning up the edges of the tags. It doesn't really show up well on camera, but it does kind of finish off those edges. So I'm going in with the red ink again with the applicator to make the color a little more rich. It seemed a little too washed out, so I wanted it to be a nice rich red. And here I'm taking my black Distress ink and framing out the pages, I'm just giving it a little more depth. And then I'm going to come back over the black with the red again to soften the black. I, don't, I didn't want it to be just a harsh line, so the red helps soften it. And I'm just going around the edges. I'm not trying to fill in the entire background, just the edges. So that is it. This is my new Art Junior notebook. It's a disc bound system available at Staples. I also picked up the punch and this punch is wonderful. I will be making a video showing the comparison of the art punch versus the happy planner punch. Here I'm going in and adding the ruler that I picked up to go with this. So here is the final spread. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.